Hello and welcome to a CBK gaming unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at Folklore The Affliction uh, which is by Greenbrier Games. It's a dark fantasy game that's cooperative and for one to five players. Um, we, we're especially excited to look at this and to play this. We've, we enjoy cooperative games probably more than, than, than uh, uh, competitive games. Um, so let's delve into the box and see what we've got. As you can see, uh, there is a lot in the box. Um, we've just put it all out and had a look through a few bits. So the cards, uh, one of the things uh, from some of the games we've looked at, and the quality of the card isn't always great. Um, Gloomhaven being a prime example, I think the cards are pretty poor quality. Um, these, these are wonderful, uh, really nicely made. Images are fantastic, really good quality. Um, you'll see an image on one side here, um, depending where I put it. Um, the neoprene mats that we got, um, we got the extra map and the individual mats, um, which again will show you up in one of the corners, um, a really good quality. The print quality is fantastic. I know some of them haven't always looked great um, and we've been put off buying some of the neoprene mats previously, um, but really pleased with this. Um, what we'll do is we'll go through and have a look at uh, the contents of the actual book oh, box now. Okay, so firstly, Folklore the Affliction, the core game. Uh, right from the off, as I say, the artwork is, is really my style. I love this. I think it's a fantastic piece of art. Okay, so we have the rule book. Um... Just flip through. <laughs> yeah. Say so still really like the artwork and the, the statuses, negative and positive statuses, conditions. This looks um I'm really looking forward to playing this. Uh, it looks like a very comprehensive set of rules. Uh as as with all rules, we'll find out as and when we actually get into playing the game. Story journal. I'm not going to look through this just in case I don't want to spoil anything for us. Uh, but again, a nice artwork on the front. Okay, so. Oh wow. The quality of this, um, these uh, components is that it's fantastic. And uh, I'll have to pick that up in a minute. Right, so they, um, we've now got models um, for these. Um, And the doors we've got models for, but oh, I really like those. The, feel the quality of that. It's, um, wow. Yeah. Much better than some of the games that we've recently bought. Yeah, because some do thick cards, but you can see it coming apart already when yes. it arrives. Whereas this is, this is really good quality. Well, that and the cards that we've seen, really good. Um, Again, more markers. So these are the standees, which again we've got um, figures for models for now. Um, so we'll look through those. Okay, so what do we have here? We have these are the career. A little booklet. Huh. Oh, that's really good. All well, your starting abilities and details. Well, that's going to be interesting. Those trackers. This is the board, so we've um, obviously got the neoprene mat in its place. Fits down to a nice size.
and lots of dice. So D10, D6, okay, some D4s, and some other components. All the cards, items, and abilities. And then the uh, Emmys. Let's have a quick look in here. That's from Dark Oak, Flesh Eating Ghoul, Gargoyle, Highwayman, Angry Mob. Mad Druid, Moon Priest, Night Stalker. Yeah, this is stuff. I can't wait to get into playing this. It's going to be a. Um, we need to start playing this so that um, we've played it enough times by the time um, Village Attacks <laughs> gets here. Then we also have. Uh, so these are the boards. Um, have a quick look at these. So there's the main map, and then there's the, uh, from my understanding, um, the where you then go on quests. So the farm, a large cavern, and the double sided forest path, cemetery, forest clearing. And then I'm assuming there's more of these in the um, expansion. Okay, so this is Dark Tales, the expansion for Folklore the Affliction. So again, fantastic piece of artwork on the front. Really like that one. Okay, so the st story journal number two. Um, we're not going to go through that. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, more standees. Again, I believe we've got all the miniatures for these. Um, yes, certainly for the um, new characters. Uh, yes, uh, some very unpleasant things there. Traps. Yes. I do really, really like that. And I the, the, really am impressed with the um, quality of these. Um, it's nice to see some different uh, foes. You know. um, I'm not even going to try pronouncing uh, pronouncing that one, but the the lich, the wood mother. Um, obviously, the lich is quite normal, but uh, at least normal for some of the games we play. Um, but like the idea of the dark druid and the dark oak. Um, So these are extra tiles for the quests that uh, we get to go on. And there are quite a lot more and some very interesting... Yeah, I like those. Guard post and a shrine. I've got a little bit there. And then more items, uh, cards. We've gone through different cards, um, some more road events, and then we get to the new and interesting new characters to play. So the additional characters uh, added by um, this expansion are the Butcher, the Courtesan, there we go. <laughs> the illusionist, the scientist, it's got a look of Gillian Anderson. Oh, it has. The slayer and the woodsman. I really like the idea of the, the cards. It's, it's quite nicely. And you get to pick a character focus. You can be a fashionista or a scoundrel. We may have to laminate those so we can tick them off and, and use them. Mm -hmm. 
Um, okay, so new monsters, a wretched hag. Like you on a, a good day. Um, <laughs> a possessed. I'm gonna pay for that one, I think. Uh, Hand of Death, <laughs> Demonic Flame, Dark Dryad. I really like that. Banshee. Slayer. Oh, are those the ghosts. Uh, right, yes. So they're the cards for when you, if you become a ghost. Um, yes, I'm gonna have to read up on how we play this. So what you can now see are some of the miniatures from the game. There's a selection of the monsters that you face throughout the campaign. And there is a small selection of the characters that you can play. There's also uh, a couple of the extras. So you can also see the colossal dark oak. Um, which is uh, looks like a very interesting figure um, and actually has a selection of limbs and head um, which you can put on the main body. And there's also Champions of Hurrah, Aim the Corrupted, um, which is an interesting purple colour. Um, I don't know how these fit into the game. We have no idea around the game at all, um, which is going to be fantastic. I did hear it described as a mix of... Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay and Cthulhu, um, which is great. That mixes two of our favourite um, sort of games um, and, and worlds. We've already picked our characters, at least Karen and I have. So Karen, you're opting for... I'm going to go with the courtesan. I'm going for the archaeologist. Uh, Chris has picked the witch hunter. Um, and Guy, I believe, is going to be going for the Avenging Madman. Um, we don't know what Jamie is going to be playing. Um, we'll have to wait and see what he's going to choose. Though I think we're looking at either the Arcanist or the Butcher as, as his choices. Um, we shall see if we're right. <laughs> we will uh, give some ideas on how we found the rules and learning the game over the next couple of days. Um, we'll look to record our playthrough um, and act, or at least a playthrough of one of the starting um, levels uh, or parts of adventures on the campaign, incorporating both the um, quest or adventure side and the movement on the map. Um, really looking forward to this. I really think this is going to be a great game that we're going to spend a, a lot of time um playing um we've got to fit it around the ongoing campaign we have for gloomhaven uh, the ongoing dark light uh campaign that we've also got running um but i don't think that's going to be a problem i really want to find time for this one um last thoughts components fantastic quality really really good quality very impressed very impressed with the artwork um I, I can't praise this enough. I really, really hope the gameplay lives up to what I'm seeing here. And um, we will let everybody know how we find it. Any thoughts from you, Karen? Um, no, I just agree with you. I love the quality of the components. The print quality on the neoprene mat looks really good. Um, and the artwork is absolutely astounding on all of the cards and the character pieces really looking forward to it okay well as ever thank you for watching um if you enjoyed what you saw um uh, if you've enjoyed watching this video uh, please like and subscribe if you've got any uh comments please make them in make them below the video um we're really interested in people's opinions um, and if you've got ideas of any games you'd like to see us review or games you'd like to see us play or unbox, please do so. We have a lot of Kickstarter um, boxes arriving soon. Um, and as ever, thank you very much. Look forward to bringing more content in the future.